Jerry, this place is beautiful. Really? I'm telling you, the woman that rented is a problem to me. She's traveling to the US. Guess what? I'm ready to fly, bro. Jerry, let's go. We're running late. Okay. Vincent, your food is almost ready. Food? Mm hmm. What food? Did I tell you I was hungry? Jerry! Huh? Huh? Are you hungry? Did you tell her you were hungry? No. I can't remember telling her anything like that. You heard him, we're not hungry. So that reminds me, when you're ready to leave, can you lock my doors? Lock my windows, most especially the backyard door. Lock it. Thank you. Hey, baby. Hi. How you doing? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. Jerry. Oh, you're Jerry? Yeah. Is that your friend? Good oh. You. Good to see you. Such a great smile. Baby, you look so beautiful. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. No, not at all. Mm -mm. Okay, can we go now? Yeah. Why you this? Vincent, what is it? Nothing. Vincent, what am I really to you? You don't tell me anything. Every time I have a cost to ask something, you say nothing. Why? Do you hear me? There's nothing to tell me. Listen, I have to go now. When you're done, lock my doors, my windows, the kitchen, the back here, make sure you leave everything. Angels. Have I ever lived in Bokon? Yeah, let's have another walk. Hey, Oga, do I'm going to let you avoid fire with me? Yo, uh, yo, uh.
hands on the beat. Bro, she just passed me right now. Yeah, she just passed me right now. Yeah. I said she drove past me right now. I'm going to meet her to my place. Okay. I'm in a hurry, yeah. Okay, I'll see you, I'll see you. Alright. Baby, what's up? What's been keeping you? How are you doing, baby? Why are you not taking your calls? Sorry, darling. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, your call came at the wrong time. Wrong time? Yeah. What do you mean wrong time? Uh, do you remember the contract I told you with the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs? Uh, that has to do with safety materials, supply or something? Exactly. Maybe I was called by the office today to defend my LPO. And while I was doing that, while I was with the panel, your call came in. And I'm so sorry. That's okay. It's just me. It's all right. But guess what, honey? What, baby? I sealed the contract. Really? Uh-huh. That's what's up! <laughs> Congrats! Congratulations! Yeah! So what's up? Did you come with the stuff? Hmm. Have I ever failed you? No. So did you come with the stuff? Of course I did! So let's go Trust get me. Why are you in a hurry? Let's so let's go get the stuff. Yeah. Okay. I know we're not supposed to go against the rules of the game. Yeah. But for a minute. Bro, I felt for Shana, man. I never expected she was gonna give me that huge sum of money. I, I began to have feelings for her. Did I hear you all? Why are you talking about feelings? I have a no, 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 reset. Do not mess this job up. You have to maximize your selling points. That is the rule of the game. Money is strictly business. Yeah, I can understand. We have to maximize our selling points because I know where I'm coming from. I know what I've been through in the past. I'm, I'm not trying to cut corners or anything, but I just want to tell you that she's caring. All right? But then again, I, I know the rule. We're not supposed to fall in love. We're not supposed to... In fact, our hearts are blocked, you know, stuff like that. So, so that's it. It's all about the money. No sentiments. Hearts are blocked. Just stupid business, right? So you got that. Hey. Hi. Wow. Hi. Um, okay. I missed you. Hmm. <laughs> Hey. Where is this coming from? What? Where is coming from? Jerry, mm -hmm. did you just read a chat for the something? Actually, something bigger than that. But trust me, you would like to hear the details. Try me, be a bit disappointed. If you're serious about this, let's do it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. What was the last time I showed you love? Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm sure you want some more right? <laughs> wow, she wants some more. She wants some more. <laughs> Sir. Okay, fine. Listen, baby. Go upstairs. Have a shower. Okay. Chill. I'm gonna meet you up soon. All right. Let me give that to you. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll meet you soon. Yeah. All right.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm sorry about that. That was my kid sister. Very, very respectful. Well, she wouldn't be in the same environment with me and my girl. Trust me, she thinks it's very rude. Yeah. <clears throat> she's mad. Oh, yes, she's a very good girl. Our parents treat her well. So, this is my house. It's my hole, my cheap hole. This is where I come from. Yeah. So, I know it's, uh, you know, used to a place like this, and you actually expected to see something better. But trust me, just make yourself comfortable, right? Trust me, this is not bad at all. Really? Thank you. So, so how's it gonna be? How? I mean, what will I offer you? Well, listen. Okay. <clears throat> My sister, she loves to cook. She never wants to see me hungry. So I'm sure she needs some too. Um. Make a choice. What do you want? You want something to drink? Something to eat? I don't think there's something to drink. But just make a choice. <laughs> Thank you. Very funny, but thank you, Papa. Really? Yep. Um. Why? Well. Oh wait, 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 wait! I think you really need to be very careful of what you ask, because a sheep does not invite a lion for a dance. I'm sure you know what that means. This sheep wants to feel the claws of this lion. Are you serious? Have you seen a lion angry before? Like, ah! You don't want me to have a speck here, you can just tell me. After I never forced you to give it to me in the first place. Miracle, whatever you call yourself, please give me my speck here. Hmm? Since your unlimited access into my house is beginning to cause problems. You're beginning to accuse me of having something to do with my business associates. Just because they're the women. Business associates. You know what, Vincent? I don't care what you do with them. I don't care. But there's a limit to what a woman can name deal. Me. Look at me. Look at me, look at me good. You're not serving a jail term in my house. If you're tired of seeing my things, if you're tired of what happens around me, you can gladly take a walk. In fact, you have my blessings. Do you hear me? You know your actions and suspicions force me to say the wrong things to you, right? Four million naira cash is sitting in my account right now. Jerry, do you know when that girl said she was gonna make that quick transfer? I thought it was a joke, man. Are you serious? I'm serious, man. Baba, you don't have her. So what do you do with the money now? We? We? <laughs> we? I'll be a consultant now. Don't make this shit again. <laughs> If you teach me the game, why you never blow? Why you never hammer? Well, you know, I, I know the poor man. I'm a poor man before. <laughs> I know you're a big boy, man. Just pardon I'm me. Try, I'm trying. Hey, bro, listen. 
I need to make this real. Do you understand? I need to repackage myself. In other words, I need a car. I'm tired of lying to these women that I own a car in. in the end, they don't, they don't see it. I need to make it real, bro. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. Let's go get a car. See, don't get me. I can't go get the car right now. Maybe I'm trying to think about my way to Port Harcourt. Do you understand? So I need to be out of circulation for at least seven days. So wait, wait, wait. So what you're trying to tell me? You're going to lock yourself for seven days? Well, seven days, yes. But seven nights, no. <laughs> You know me, man. I know you, man. What do you, you do me fear? Wait a second. She's not going to come. She's not going to see. No, she thinks I'm in Buttercourt right now. So I don't want her to come and see. If she sees me, you are not going to So I don't want her to come and see me. Hey, no. Go. No, go. No, go. No, go. No, So you lied to me about relocating to Abish. My sister, you won't understand. I, 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 Who is your sister? Am I your sister or your girlfriend? <laughs> Um, since you calm down, it's not what you think. Oh, please, Jerry, or whatever you call yourself. I wasn't talking to you. I know that you're the one misleading me. I mean, who doesn't know your story this time? How you deceived two sisters and got them pregnant. <laughs> so, this is funny, Vincent. No, no, no. I gave you my heart. And the money I worked so hard to make. And the best way to repay me is to deceive me. Baby, I did deceive you. I didn't deceive you in any way. I actually got a job with the Ministry of Internal Affairs. And I've been trying to make things work. Things haven't been working. Story for the gods. I, I, I'm not telling lies. You are lying. And even this one that calls me Jerry. You know that it is a fat lie. Um, Madam, where are you coming from? You cannot just walk in here and try to embarrass us. Who are you? Hold on. Let me tell you. Vincent has a fiance and so much loves her. Loves her. Hmm. Okay, listen, my friend Jerry just told you the truth. Alright. I actually have a girl I love and I want to get married to her. In fact, she's my fiance and she's right behind you. So if you don't mind, I think you need to leave right now or I'm gonna push you out. Okay. My friend, will you get out of my house? You have Are to you go to lay your hands on me. After it is my own, you will suffer. I will have you arrested and locked up in a dark place. You will pay every dime. I will deal with you. Leave my house. You stop me. I will deal with you this time. Deal with you. What's this? What's going on? Calm down. Everything is under control. The lady actually wanted to lure Vincent to bed. When he refused to play ball. She became embittered, and ever since she would act funny, following him everywhere he goes. Can you imagine? I'm tell you, can you imagine? Is it by force? I don't want to sleep with you. I do not want to sleep with you. Is it by force to sleep with a woman? Baby, can you imagine that? She wants to sleep with her. This is absolute rubbish. Vincent. Damn!
Jacob ignored this girl for too long and it's not proper. Moreover, it's too early for her to suspect any foul play. So do not allow her to, to, to start having that impression. Jenna, I swear, if I pick this call right now, I don't know what to tell her. But I thought you had everything figured out. I thought so too, but when my head don't fall down, Pick this phone and call her back. Tell her something. Just come up with something that will make her let you like her. That will erase whatever negative ideas that she has. Um, you know, concerning your attitude. Yes, call her. Call her back. Talk to her. You know, try and erase all the negativities. She would have started getting by virtue of attitude. Yeah, hi baby. I'm sorry I haven't been able to keep in touch, alright? Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, the truth is, I've been very busy. I know that's not a good excuse, but I've not been able to coordinate myself because I've been having issues. Yes. No, no, no. Day. Yes, I've been having issues, which is why I'm in Lagos right now. They told me my documentation is incomplete. Yeah, I'm actually... Uh, I came to collect my papers at the Institute of uh, Safety Professionals, which I must tender to evaluation in three days' time or else I kiss the contract goodbye. Baby, listen, the questions are too... You know what? Can I call you back? One of the officials just stepped out right now, so I need to catch up with him to get what I want. Alright, let me call you back in the next five minutes, please. Alright, thank you. Okay. Nice one. Nice one. You're such a crook. Do you know, at a, at a point in time, I almost didn't believe in what you're saying. So if I'm a crook, what are you? A bigger crook? Go. At least today, you are seeing by yourself that I am the boss. Where is he? Is it serious? Where is he? 
I really don't think it's that serious, because I felt this thing too. Freedom. Ask guess it's such a okay. At least I have to go on the back of the end. Because if I'm gonna sit down the street, the okay, NS will soon be coming. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Back in a minute. You know what? Don't worry. I'll be back, okay? Relax. Just feel free. I'm coming back, okay? Vincent, I'm good. No, I was telling you down here. Why don't you look it? That was just a trick to send her away so I could talk to you. Why would you do anything like that? Okay, this is your mistake. Alright, so, I don't need some big flaws. I don't get you. Okay. I had to do what I did just to have a minute with you. Listen, I'm gonna go to the chase, okay? Let's not spend time on you. You understand? I just go straight to the rules. Put some time now. You see, I like you a lot. Alright? Yeah, I know you sound kind of crazy because you referred to my girlfriend and uh, the other game. I really like you. I wish you did something. Did you really mean what you just said? Every word. I'm a little less. I'm trying to tell you. Can you stop? And in fact, that was why I had to go that far. Yeah. Do what I had to do. I don't wish. You know, okay. Yeah. Make yourself this opportunity. Will you get those hands off me? What is wrong with you? How could you? Do I sound crazy? Yes! Crazy! That's what you are! How could you? How could you have the heart to tell me this sort of nonsense when you know that miracle is not sister to me? We are, Vincent. Someone needs to tell you something truth. We found a way to put people over our eyes. But let me tell you something. I am not a miracle. Oh, you do not deserve an angel like Miracle. She's ten times better than all those numerous ladies you've been freaking around to her. But let me tell you something. I am not Miracle. Now listen to me. My girlfriend is on her way back. So you're going to pretend nothing happened between us. Even if you tell her anything, she's not going to believe you because she's in love with me. And she believes anything I tell her. So do we have a deal? Do we have a deal? Hi, you're home, Miracle. I forgot the money for the drugs. Oh, really? Um, my, I, I have an emergency. My aunt. Yes, my aunt. She just called. I hope there's no problem. Come on, no problem. Uh, I just need to see her. You know what? Uh, I'll just drop you. Let's go. Come on. After you, there. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine.
Thank God I've got it here on the phone. Your your number was unreachable. Yes, Mary. Listen, I had a fatal accident. I tried to call you. Yeah, the doctor said it's an important Yeah. Yeah, we're in February or something. Don't worry, he will surely survive. He will. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm at the hospital. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Just tell me this. Give this a Yeah, I'll be waiting for you. It's alright. The condition is critical, I must say. But doctor, do whatever you can to save his life. I don't want him to die. He's the only friend I have. He's the doctor, you have to promise me. We'll do our best, we'll do our best. Just calm down. Okay? Excuse me. It wasn't easy, but I managed. Even your house shrinked. Your landlord was going to try your thing to me. He didn't think you were going to make it. But my house shrinked, wasn't it? Please, Aunt. Your rent has been due for months. Well, I... I borrowed. Got a little help here and there. It wasn't easy. I couldn't watch you die. Very good. I wouldn't want to say he did it, but that would be a story for another day. I need you to tell me something. Why have you been unfair to me? After all my efforts to make you happy. Why do you prefer with these leaders that deserted you when you needed them the most? You need you to tell me the truth, no matter how much it will hurt. I need to hear it. Do you really want to know? Tell me everything. Oh, honey, I missed you. My baby. Mm -hmm. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. I missed you so bad. Ah, oh, miss you way more, baby. I would have thrown a job at your rig if I knew the way there. Really? Uh huh. Don't tell me two weeks was too difficult for you to handle. It's been like ages. Do you know how boring this house is? Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Don't worry, Virgin, you're gonna be a very easy woman. But before that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. my favorite because I missed it just like I missed it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. How have you been? Good, missed you. Missed you too. No more cigarettes today. Baby, what are you doing? Things don't work like that. You can just take away the cigarette from my bag. Now this one, you said you weren't gonna receive five sticks of cigarettes there. Now this one here is your seven. Okay, wait a second. Have you been counting how many cigarettes I smoke in a day? Okay, trust me. Just this one last time and I won't touch it again. Under one condition. Right, one condition. Go. This drink, you're not gonna touch it. And when we get home, you, my darling, you're cooking dinner. But baby, you just said one condition and you're giving me two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. You can have a drink. No, I just want to. Okay. Please. Mm -mm. Please. Mm -mm. No more, please. Just just no more. All right. No. One stick. No, no. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Mr. Sheriff! There we are. Really I'm sorry, myself. dear. That's painful. Yeah, that reminds me, baby. There's this bottle of mine. I'm giving it to you, girl. Okay. According to what I was saying, I'm giving good side. Very I'm gonna make my friends go up to the million Okay, baby. Hey, yeah. I can't believe you've been on the million And it feels like just two days. Then again, that's what every week worker. So hey. 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 Hello. Hello, Nigga. How are you? Um, okay, please, who's this? This is Dr. Festus. Do I or tell you again? It's a lie. Where have you been? Are you now a doctor? Yes, I read my PhD exactly five years ago. Of course, you know how much I've always wanted to get to Highest height of academic attainment. Yes. So, um, where are you now? And how did you get my number? I'm in Abuja at the moment. And I met with your mother a couple of hours ago. She gave me your number. Oh, so sorry for the demise of your father. He was such a good man. My role Thank you. Uh, I'll be in Port Harcourt in a couple of weeks or thereabouts for a capacity development program with the National Orientation Agency and some civil society groups. I hope to see you when I visit. <laughs> oh yes, of course. Uh, good, good. This is one of my numbers. Call me oh, anytime. Oh, I will, I will. Good. Please extend my greetings to your husband. I will. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> yeah, it's my pleasure. <laughs> Alright, bye. Bye, bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> Baby, I'm home! Hey, baby, what took you so long? I've been at the door like forever. Okay. Um.
sorry, I was on the phone when you got back. That's alright. I was actually waiting for you in the room so I could show you the stuff I got for you. I was making your dinner. But I'll see you later. Okay. So shall we? Cause let's go and eat because I'm really, really hungry. Uh I'm filled up now. But I'll just go on and eat. I have something I need to tell you in the room. You're not eating? Yeah. I'll go to the library tomorrow. <laughs> I did research actually. <laughs> Okay. Oh, stop it. Yeah, okay. All right, there. All right. Jesus. Hello? Oh, uh, sorry, uh, it was in my head. I'm off to the side, but when I'm back, you let me know why you prefer the living room. I became very confused and worried because the neck I fell in love with became someone I barely even knew. Two years of our marriage, I never touched another woman because she was my world. I just couldn't handle the thought of loving any other woman. I couldn't imagine the thought of living without a necker. Even for a day. Hello, darling. What are you cooking? Nothing. So tell me, why have you been acting strange lately? Please, darling, let's talk about this later. Don't mess up this happy mood, okay? Just go, sit down in the living room and wait for me. Besides, I got you something. It's on the dining table. You go check it out. Okay.
Yes. You know, my heart sank when I woke up this morning and couldn't find you anymore. For some reasons, I thought you had left me. Why would you imagine a thing like that? I don't know. It just kind of slides through my mind. Well, I woke up with fresh ideas very early this morning. So I came down here to put them down before I lose them. Okay. That's nice. So tell me about your book. How far have you gone? It seems you're making progress, huh? Yes, someone has been helping me with ideas. Someone has been helping you? Mm hmm <laughs> Okay, that sounds nice. I mean, I'm glad you're making progress at least. You know, sometimes I, I just wish I, I had a flair for writing. You know, like I had a thing for writing. I could have helped out. You know that, right? Hold on, I'm coming. Good day, young man. I hope I'm in the right department. Who are you, please? Are you Mr. Mobile Vincent? That's right. I am Dr. Festus Tanua Odoringen. Your wife's godfather. My wife? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think she talked about you sometime. Come on, come on. Thank come you. On. Thank, thank you. Thank you, you. Thank thank you very much. Oh. What a nice place you got. You're welcome, sir. So cozy and peaceful and myself. Hi. You're welcome, sir. Nigga! You have run into such a beauty queen all of a sudden. Eh? This is wonderful. Honestly, the last time I met her, she was a, a, a bonus like eh? a promising young girl. But then, oh, wonderful. This is good. This is unbelievable. Men love the but he came back after three days. It was a weekend, so we had all the time in the world to entertain him. I was amazed by his intelligence. He was self-development. He's this kind of man that you, you would spend seven days with, thinking you had spent seven hours. Ten days later, my professor called me and told me that I've been transferred to to a rig in the coast of Guinea. That my company had won a drilling contract. To me, it was it was my money. I was very happy. I was also happy because my wife was productively engaged. And she had a godfather that she could talk to whenever she needed professional help. <sighs> Baby! 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 Baby, I'm home!
Jesus. <laughs> Are you back? Yeah. Uh, you came back today? No. Uh, I went to my friend's house yesterday and it got late, so I didn't know when it got late, so I, I decided to sleep over. Does that explain why your films were turned off? Uh, my, my phones were dead, so, so I decided to charge them through the night. How can both films die at the same time? I mean, we always have light here. There's an inverter. There's a big generator. So what are you talking about? What are you saying? <laughs> at that point, I knew things had gone bad. She couldn't even give me a straight answer. She walked out of the room very, very angry because she knew she was guilty. Things began to degenerate as we fought and quarreled non-stop. At some point, I had it up to here. I just couldn't handle who she had become. I had no choice but to move in with my friend thinking she would change. Miracle, the next thing I got was your papers. That was when I took the decision of becoming who I am today. I wanted to hit back at every girl, every single girl. I left Port Harcourt for Lagos because I wanted to rip off every single rich girl. You see, but when I met you, everything changed. I had this special feeling just like I had for Nega. But then again, I fought it because I, I, I didn't want to go back and love him just like I did before. I was not ready to fall in love again. I kept on fighting that feeling. But it kept coming back. Although you didn't have what I was after. You didn't have money. But then again, I just couldn't let you go. Miracle. I feel so ashamed of myself. I am not proud of all I have done. I want you to forgive me. Please. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am a changed man. You've been talking for more than 10 minutes now. And um, I don't seem to understand what you're driving at, what you're saying. I don't understand. Jerry, what I'm trying to say is this. I am no longer that Vincent you used to know. I really want to thank you for everything you've done for me. I just want to thank you for your efforts during my accident. But I think we need to change our bad ways. 
if possible, give our lives to Christ. Eh? <laughs> this close to death. But somehow I survived. And I'm very thankful. I really want to give change a chance. Jerry, I want to turn. And I expect you to do the same thing. I'm sorry about the other day. I was only being stupid and unreasonable. Please forgive me. Is that why you've been looking for me? One of the reasons. I can't find Miracle. Miracle is nowhere to be found. I've been calling her for the past one week. She's not taking my calls. I need your help. Go to her place then. I don't know her place. Yes. Listen, she told me you live on the streets. And trust me, I've been here since morning, flagging cars down to see if I could see. I'm lucky to have seen you. So you mean you don't know where your girlfriend stays? I'm not proud to say it, but I do not know where she lives. I need your help, please. I'll talk to you tomorrow. You talk to me tomorrow? That's it? Yeah. Sorry. I don't have your phone number. How do I contact you? I know where you live. So much of it just messes everything up. Listen, I swore to myself that I was going to treat women like shit. But right now, I changed my life. And I'm ready to leave my sins. So, what do you intend to do about this? I'm ready to take everything. I have the resources to do that. I don't care if I'm left with nothing. I believe that if it wasn't for miracle, I would have been a bad man like right that. I'm so ashamed of myself. Rose, please.
Rose. Please, I need to see. I'm going to your house or the hotel. I just need to see. Just relax. You worry too much. Ah. Should I wait for you in the car here? Rose, don't you think you can come back to do whatever you want to do? I just want to see where I go. Alright, let's just go. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. Let's go. Let's go. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, bro. How are you? You're welcome. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon. Oh, you must be Vincent. Yes, sir. My name is Vincent. Good. My daughter has told me all about you. I am Chief Gabi Otis, Miracle's father. Oh. Sir, that, that name is very popular. Sir, do you mean Otis Oya? By the grace of God. Margaret. Margaret. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Go call my daughter and get them something to drink. Um, sir, that won't be necessary, sir. Young man, please sit down and make yourself comfortable. My daughter will be with you in a minute. Oh. So I was trying to say, the guy just sat there with his bald head. And he was just looking at me and he was like, you can imagine that kind of What did thing. you not tell him? But I told him, well, he's my father and I'm his son, so. Auntie? Yes? Your father wants to see his son. Okay. Um, is my friend Rose here? Yes. We took my brother now. Wait, are you jealous? Oh, come on. Smile, please. No, no, no. no. I'm a fine yes. man. Okay, yeah. care. Don't worry, let me answer that. Alright. Uh, I want you to come with my brain friend. Okay. Uh, I will. And that will give me time to scrutinize. Don't scrutinize him up. I. You're coming. That is Vincent. This is my dad. We have already introduced ourselves. Oh, okay. Vincent, as you see, Miracle is my only daughter. And I am very proud of her. Because she is the best daughter in the whole wide world. She is very selfless, born as you mean, productive, independent, and very homely. With all the maids and cooks in this house, she still does her laundry, does her cooking by herself. She has Two vehicles parked outside, a jeep and a sedan. She refuses to use them. She prefers to live a very simple life. I call her my best friend because she understands me and knows how to take care of me. <laughs> you 
I know you. Is this Vincent? Y yes, that's him. This is Vincent? Do you know him? If I know Vincent? <laughs> no way. It's not happening. Listen, Father. This man is a womanizer. He is not for real. And the only thing that's going to make sense to me right now is that he leaves this house this instant. Please! Listen, I know what I'm doing. Do you understand that? I know what I'm doing. But this man is not what you think he is. I'm not having this. And now Chris taking you. Father, you don't even seem to understand what I'm saying. I'm saying that this man is a woman I... Why do I keep saying that? This man is an unrepentant Casanova. He is a chronic womanizer, a diehard player. And there is no way he's going to have anything to do with my sister. Now listen. I can understand from your own point of view. But there's something I want to tell you, Chris. You just need to listen to me. Alright, fill me in. I'm listening. You see, I know this young man so much, even more than he knows himself. You see, I have a lot to tell you about him. Take it easy. With all due respect, Father, you're not making any sense to me right now. What are you saying? The financial projection there is not realistic at all. And you think so? I know so. The customer base of the only company will not put into cognizance before arriving at those figures. Well, well as, uh, as my financial analyst will advise me to I'm serious! I'm not saying you're going to be aware of you. Do you know this guy? Yeah. You miss this me. guy is the worst Casanova I've ever seen in my life. I'm surprised you don't know him. Me? You miss me? You miss me? Okay, tell me two things you miss about me. Can I call you back? Wait, let me call you back. Let me call you back. Hi, baby. I missed you. I missed you. Mm, missed you too. How have you been? I'm good, and you? I'm fine. Oh, you didn't even remember that I'm around. Uh, I'm... How have you been? So what are you guys doing here? Um, we just came in here, and we actually trying to order for something. Before you came in. You see, in one week, I had the story of his life in my head. I don't understand. Do you know why I believe in Chris? I don't. I was like him, but your mother saved me. God bless her soul. Oh, Vincent, do you know why I gave her the name Miracle? She was supposed to die at birth. The doctor said the survival of, of the mother and child was very uncertain. But she defied medical diagnosis and survived. But unfortunately, the mother was not that lucky. I love my children. That was why I refused to remarry. I don't want any woman to come between my children and I. Miracle is a bundle of joy to me. She's a living miracle. 
So, Vincent, if I decide to wipe the slate clean, will you be able to love and take care of Miracle like I do? So I promise you more honest that I will. Good. Chris, let's bury the past and give them a chance. Compared to our words, because I do not deserve this. Miracle. I did a lot of things to make them stand up proud of. Me before you and your father, asking for your forgiveness. I am so sorry. I am deeply sorry for all that I've put you through. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. That's okay. Get up. Get up, come on. That's all right. Very well. I... I learned you have a master's degree. First thing tomorrow morning, you go to the headquarters of Otis Holding Conglomerate on the island. You means Mr. Dokovic is a German. And he will know what to do with you. Well, I want to give you a job so that you will be able to take care of my daughter. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate this opportunity, please. Thank you. It's all right, get up. Now listen to me, I don't know what spell you must have cast on my father, but it will not work for me, do you understand that? Now I'm going to warn you personally, don't hurt my sister, if you as much as hurt my sister, I swear to God I'll have your head on a platter. Do you understand that? I'm warning you for the last time, I have my eyes on you. <laughs> 